Welcome everybody, my name is Rob Coolish, joined today by head men's and women's swimming coach Brad Thornton. Um, Brad, you guys had an awesome season, um, so first off, congratulations. Um, focus on the men today a little bit. Um, you guys were sixth in the nation, um, Empire Champions, both, you know, um, kind of the pinnacle of, of the program's success. Talk about a little, a little bit about what made the difference this year, what really pushed you guys to that next level. Well, I think first and foremost, we had a, we had a very strong senior class. Um, you know, John, who's been an All-American for four years now, um, he definitely wanted to end on a high note, and Alex Bennett in the same way. Uh, so those guys really wanted to step up and, and be top ten for the first time. And I believe it was their sophomore year was the last time we won a, a conference title, so they, you know, they wanted to, to win that as well. And Alex and John actually had, they hadn't been to the meet in, in two years since, since we last won that title. So... That was one of their goals going into the season, um, and then we had, you know, we had some other guys step up in a, in a really strong freshman class uh, that I think kind of kind of helped take us to that next level. Um, you know, my first year here, I think, was your first first year at Stevens, and correct. You know, we were, you guys were thirty second in the nation that year. Um, you know, and then it's been a, a progression. You know, getting better and better and better each year. Can, can you kind of, I guess, put in in perspective? You know the progression and the steps this program has made to really become one of the elite programs to finish sixth in the nation this year. Yeah, I think it starts a lot with expectations. Our, uh, you know, originally when I first got here, uh, Evan Wilson, he he wanted to be an All-American, uh, and that was also the first year we qualified a women's relay for NCAA's. And I think our men's team kind of saw that, and and you know when we have six six females going and, and one male athlete going, they they kind of want to rise to that level. Uh, so it took us a couple of years to get more than one qualifier, but to qualify a relay. Um, and then from qualifying relay, they want to be an All-American. Uh, they want to be an individual All-American. Um, and, you know, guys just stepping up, we used Nick Noga for an example, came in as no A relays. Uh, you know, conference contributor, not much else. Uh, but his expectation from his freshman to his junior year is, not only do I want to make NCAAs, I want to have a top eight relay, I want to score points individually. Uh, which he, he accomplished one of the two there, but I think the whole team as a general, even the incoming freshmen, uh, even if they're not NCAA level yet, they expect to be there by their junior, senior year. Um, and, and this year it kind of, it kind of happened. Um, and we, we've kind of gotten over that hurdle of, of not only making NCAAs, but then being successful once we're there. Um, a specific guy, uh, somebody that I've, you know, that I've kind of seen just grow through the program, through you know, through, through my job, and, and also seeing him put in a ton of ton of work down in the weight room. Um, just somebody you know, you see on campus, uh, Daniel Munt. You know, a guy like him, you know, fought, 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 and then finally got the opportunity to go to NCAA's this year, and, and really did you know a nice job there. You know, talk a little bit about you know how rewarding that must be, not only to see him you know reach that goal, but but for you as a coach. Yeah, well, when Dan first got here, he wasn't—he uh, was borderline making the conference roster uh, based on his high school times, and he really, uh, like you said, you see him in the weight room a lot. He's, he's down there five days a week throughout the entire year, including the summer. Um, and his expectation when he came in was he wanted to contribute. He wanted to to do more than than his high school time showed, uh, which which really wasn't swimming in any meets, um, to maybe being on a relay. And then after his junior year, he missed NCAAs by, I think it was .1 in a 200 medley relay. So he was obviously a little disappointed. And you can go one of two ways there. You can either kind of be satisfied with it and, all right, that's as good as it's going to get, or try to get faster the following season and, and make the relay hands down and have, have no worries about it. Um, it was great to see Dan kind of step up, especially at our conference meet, swim so well. I mean, he beat our, our team record in the 100 fly by, by over a second. Um, and then not only do that, but, but swim really well in the relay, qualify the relay by a lot, and then score in another relay as well uh, that made NCAAs. And then once we got to NCAAs, sometimes you'll have a senior that, that's happy to be there. Um, and that's not what we want as a team. We're not happy to be there. We want to swim well there. And being a senior, it was really nice for him to end on a good note. He did go some best times there in relays and you know, had a couple All-Americans in those relays. So real happy for him. And, uh, He's actually going to be here for his fifth year, not swimming, but he, you know, he already wants to help out coaching, and he's not really done with swimming yet, which is always nice to see. Yeah, it's got. I mean, to have a guy like that that puts in the time and, and you know, you know, pushes himself has to be good, good to have around the program. Um, so recently, uh, Friday, I think afternoon, Friday evening, 
you were named the uh, conference's you know men's swimming coach of the year. Uh, senior John, who was um, the swimmer of the year. Uh, talk a little bit about you know about that. You know, you happy with that? You know, you know it, it's an extremely extremely nice honor for you. Yeah, I was happy to see John get it again. I know he's won it a couple of times, but he's definitely very deserving. And uh, he actually hadn't gotten the best time in, in close to two years. So he dropped he dropped in every event he swam and you know won not only conference titles but uh, his highest placings at NCAA's ever, which was great. Um, in terms of me winning the the coach of the year, I mean a lot of that has to do with our assistants, um, Thomas Nowra and Lindsay Del Rosby are, are two full time assistants, and you know they spend as much time on the pool deck as I do. With our, you know, with our the size of our team and our facility, we run up to seven practices a day. And so I have to really rely heavily on, on Tom and Lindsay to to coach um, when I can't be there all the time due to you know various things. But uh, they've done an, an amazing job and, and brand new to the team. You know, this is their first year here, so uh, a lot of our success has to do with them doing such a good job. Um, well, again, congrats. Uh, and, and last one for you. You know, we talked a little bit about the progression and buying into you know expectations and really wanting to get to that next level. Where do we go from here? I mean, we always want to progress. Um, I, I'm not going to promise top five or anything like that, but we do want to get better. And uh, I, I'm not going to say I'm going to be happy if we're always in the top ten. That's great, but we'd obviously like to do better and better every year. Now we are losing a very strong senior class. Um, now our junior class is also very strong. Uh, but our, our freshman class that we brought in was one of our one of our best recruiting classes ever. Uh, we do have a couple of guys that were kind of on the brink of making NCAA's. That I think if they take it to the next level next year, which which sometimes happen from your freshman to your sophomore year when you already drop a little bit a little bit of time and get close to that qualifying cut, you kind of want to slide in there and you, know, you can't really replace a John Who in one year. It doesn't doesn't work like that. But you know you maybe can have three or four guys that that help make up those points and. Um, I don't know what next year holds. You can see with the, the recruiting class, maybe it'll maybe it'll be great, uh, or maybe some guys will step up that that you know we haven't really heard from before. Well, coach, awesome season again, sixth in the nation at NCAA's Empire Eight Champs. You know, amazing job again. So, congrats to you, congrats to the team, and uh, thanks for the time. Uh, StevenStucks.com for all your latest men's swimming news.